Think of all of the items that you encounter every single day. Maybe you wear a fleece jacket. Do you drink out of a plastic bottle? Or maybe you use a face wash or toothpaste in the morning. What do you think all of these items have in common? If you guessed contains plastic, you'd be right. Plastics are part of modern everyday life and many of the items we encounter each day contain plastic in some form. Because of that, plastics are increasingly found in the environment around us. You've probably seen plastic bottles or grocery bags along the side of the road. However, there is a type of plastic pollution all around us that is not as easy to see. These small pieces of plastic pollution are called microplastics. What exactly is a microplastic? Microplastics are defined as small plastic particles no larger than a pencil eraser. Just like other types of plastic litter, microplastics come in all different shapes and sizes. Here are a few examples. Microplastics come from many sources, including the breakdown of larger items such as styrofoam, plastic bags, bottles, plastic wrappers, and tires. Another common pathway that many people have heard of is through personal care products containing microbeads, like face and hand scrubs, body washes, and toothpaste. There is a lot we don't know about microplastics since it's a new type of pollutant. One thing that we are interested in is how these microplastics might enter food webs and end up in fish that humans eat. We believe that microplastics enter the food web through tiny plants and animals, called plankton, or directly by animals that filter the water around them, like mussels or insects. These tiny animals and filter feeders are food for larger fish, which could eventually move microplastics up the food chain to fish that humans eat. We're looking at microplastics at the leaf facility in both sampling the water, taking sediment cores, collecting insects, and measuring water parameters like temperature and pH. How can you reduce your microplastic footprint? One way is to reduce, reuse, and recycle plastic products, as well as using phone apps like Beat the Microbead to avoid products that contain microplastics.